All right. Welcome, guys. This is Electro Teach. Today, I want to show you how you can hack the YouTube algorithm in just three steps. Are you a small channel? You've been uploading videos and you hardly see views on your channel. Perhaps you see two views, 10 views, 12 views, and then you want to change that. It is easy to change that with this few steps I'm going to show you. So don't skip any part of this video. Watch to the end to learn every details of it because it's so easy to do. Yes, three steps. Then you can hack the algorithm to have many views on your video, on your uh, uploaded video and the video that you are about to upload. So there are a few steps, things you need to pay attention to before your video can go viral and have many views on YouTube. All right. Uh, first and foremost, you need to uh, change the settings. You need to do some things on the settings of your channel. For example, if uh, this is your, your, your channel, then you go to, uh, if you open your YouTube like channel like this, you go to studio, go to studio, you click on studio and go to studio. Click on studio in your studio like this, then uh, you scroll down to uh, customization. Then you have this. Under customization, the uh, banner, banner image, you can change it. You see that for this chat, particular channel, it has been changed to be, to be so. Now, also your picture, you can change the picture. You can put something like logo of your channel there, something that's related to what you are doing. You can change it and uh, put another video. Either you do this on your computer or on your phone, on your mobile device. You can you can change it. Just open, click change, and go to the a picture you want to use, and then you save it. All right. Now, apart from that, on your channel, you need also to go to home tab. When you go to home tab, then uh, you you see what you have been doing on your channel. Now. Apart from this, you go to settings. You see on the left here, you click on the settings. And when you click on settings, you go to channel. From channel, you see it will go by default to basic info, as you can see on the screen here. Under the basic info, you select your country, the country of residence is important. Then keywords, keywords for your channel. Now to get keywords for your channel, you can just think about what you are doing on your channel and then hack some uh, AI to give you some keywords on your channel that will help you to rank high. You can type the question into uh, ChatGPT, for example, to write me uh, 20 keywords for my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is about so, 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 and so. I want this channel to rank high on SEO. So give me 10. Uh, 20 keywords for my channel to bring out very good uh, keywords for you that you can use. So you paste them, you can see that this particular one, we have a uh, keywords already uh, related to the channel. So that is it. Now, apart from that, you come to feature eligibility is important. You see, look at the screen now, you can see three different uh, 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 points. The first one is standard features. Second one is intermediate features, and the third one is advanced features. So when you open your channel, most likely these features will not be enabled. So you need to click on it and select enabled for the three. Select enabled for the three. It's important for your channel to be seen on the YouTube algorithm to see your channel. All right. So that is about a customization of your channel. Now, the next step is about the video you want to upload. Uh, most likely you use uh, a video editing software on your mobile app. For example, you can use CapCut, Video Guru, InShots, and all, and all that. So all these uh, 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 video editing apps, they have a way of saving your video when you finish the job. 
and most likely they will save it with something like a video underscore uh, 2024 uh, 12 22 putting dates along with the the videos uh the video name uh when you have a video like this it is not good enough to go ahead and upload the video in that manner so so in this second pass i'm going to teach you you are going to change the file name of the video you're about to upload so once the video is ready you will then you will then change the file name of the video to the title of the video you're about to upload for example uh under this channel now let me demonstrate that i want to upload a video and this is a video i've just finished editing the video as you can see on the screen now uh I, it is not fine to go ahead and upload this video like this the title is video dot guru underscore 2024 11 29 underscore 16 0 2 3 and so on dot mp4 it's not good enough uh the reason being that um when you upload this the algorithm does not recognize uh, all this a uh, uh, name it does not convey any message to the algorithm but when you change it uh the title of the file the file name to something related to the video that you want to be seen on youtube the algorithm will quickly obtain information from that file name and keep it for the video as it's been uploaded on youtube so for example this video is about uh, harvesting okra on my channel so so I'm going to be harvesting okra in my garden so we can change it uh if you are using a computer you can right click and go to rename so you can change it to harvesting okra in my garden something like this then you click outside it then the title is changed now if you are using mobile device uh for example android device you can actually go to the file where the video is kept to the folder open the folder and go to the video and then tap on the video Tap in front of it, you will see uh, uh, some uh, dots attached to the video. Click on that, and then you will click on rename. By clicking on rename, it will open the, the file name, the default file name that you will delete out and type a new file name on it. So you can do that on your mobile device also before you upload. So then you teach the algorithm information what you want the algorithm to know about the file about the video you are already teaching it before the, the video is even uploaded all right so that's another second important step that you need to take to ensure that your video goes viral as soon as possible now apart from that when you are now uploading the file for example there are other things that you need to do in the course of uploading so i'm going to upload this file now to demonstrate some of those things so you click on create then you click on upload videos you can actually do this one also on your uh, mobile device on your phone in a mobile phone but the other settings we are going to see on the computer not are not available on your mobile device so i advise you that uh, if, as, if you can try as much as possible copy the video file onto your computer and upload from your computer so we go to select file so we are going to select that file now and the file is here investing or crying in my garden so we select it then um, uh, it's been processed you can now see that the file title has switched to the title of the video immediately so we can actually retain this or modify it in a little bit to actually conform to the real title that we want the video to have okay and then your title you should not uh, always uh, type everything in lowercase. You need to make uh, some words stand out for people to see, to catch their attention. So, for example, now I am uh, typing a vesting and then my garden in the uppercase in order to catch people's attention as you have viewed the video on YouTube. Uh, also, you can also add something like this. How to. Okay. how to harvest okra all right then then you can type your your channel undo as the last part of the 
our video title it helps your channel to be seen easily by algorithm and when people are also searching for for channel so you can type your channel and for example this channel is uh farm guards farm guards all right so, so you can see that we only use this five out of 100 you see i have enough space to type if you want to type more information into this title now the next thing is to uh uh, uh type the description uh most very important very important most uh, many people don't type description of their video and they allow it to go live or to be seen by the public on youtube that is not good enough you need to type description and when you have uh when you have a video like this you might not know what to type as description or you you are too tired to develop the the notes so what you do is uh you can copy the title of the video and ask ai to generate a very good title for you for example you can ask ai uh please write a 200 word description for me for my youtube video uh that has this title for example you can see what i'm going to do now i'm going to ask this question from ai to generate the title for me okay uh this is the the file that i used to do that when i'm about to upload the uh, videos so i put the title inside the statement here all right so the, the question we are going to ask AI is this, write me a 200 word description for my YouTube video on harvesting okra in my garden, how to harvest okra. I want this description to be part full of keywords and SEO to help me rank high among, to help me rank, to help me rank high in my niche and among search results when people search for videos like mine. You see this so we copy this information and uh, ask ai for example if you are using whatsapp there is ai on whatsapp that you can actually use there is also ai on uh, google uh there's google germany there is chat gpt and so on so on. there are so many of them that can actually uh do this job for you easily without any stress and the thing will take only about one minute or less maybe 30 seconds or less to ask AI and copy the results from AI. Now, when you copy it, you need to do a little uh, a little adjustment to what you copy from AI. Then you paste it onto your uh, YouTube channel on the video that you are uh, uploading. So let us see how we are going to do that in this um, uh, Meta AI. So here I'm going to use Meta AI on the WhatsApp. So you paste the question or the the request paste the request here write me a 200 word description for my youtube video on harvesting okra in my garden how to harvest okra you now send and then ai we take that uh, request and under some seconds few seconds it generates what you need for you look at this one look at this one just only 200 word description all right so it is ready now so you copy it now look at this ai is also giving you a note under it you don't need to copy that note let's just copy the parts that are uh, important to us uh you copy without the quotation from ai and then you paste it on your on your uh, youtube uh, video description then the other thing you can also do after that is to add your channel and to the description it's important also to have your channel and on the description okay let us see the description the description the description is here so you can add your channel and the ads spam gas spam gas okay it's already it's already here so we put it there like that then thumbnail if your thumbnail is ready then you can upload your thumbnail from here or if not yet ready you can leave it but make sure that your video does not go live or public on youtube yet and see you have added your thumbnail so when you are uploading a video like this it is not advisable to let it go public immediately you should make it uh, a non uh, 
uh, uh, public, non-listed, non-listed. Okay, so playlist, you must have had playlists uh, added to your channel. So you can add playlists, as many as are related to the video. For example, general farm events, crops harvesting, vegetable gardening, uh, uh, crops cultivation. All these are related to the video that I am posting. So I had all of them and click done. This is important. Make sure you are adding playlists because some people like watching playlists. So if they have as much as video as as much video as they need, they watch them. Then you choose. It's not made for kids. Then you go down. Uh, paid promotion tags of titles and more. So you can click on show more. Under this show more, we have very important uh information to provide for you here very important now you need to add tags so you need to add tags but before then uh let's talk about this this particular point the lowest part of this uh, uh details very important here we have standard youtube license under license types so what you need to do is to change this to creative common attribution you might wonder why YouTube license is okay, it's good. Uh, but a uh, YouTube license will make the video to be restricted to some people. But Creative Commons Attribution we allow the video to be uh, provided to almost everybody. People that can actually use it, reuse it in another form. So before they can do that, they need to watch it. So if they don't give them the access, they won't watch it, they won't be able to watch it. And then that one will reduce from the benefits of your channel. So Creative Commons Attribution gives you opportunity for many people, as many people as possible, to watch your video. Though those some of those people might want to reuse your video. So the channel gives them a license. Creative Commons Attribution gives them opportunity to reuse your video according to some uh, generally acceptable rules, guidelines. All right now distribution is everywhere you can see at the front here distribution is everywhere now uh standard youtube license also distribution is everywhere but it restricts your video to some people it doesn't make it available to certain people that want that may want to reuse it all right so creative common attribution is better now look at these uh two uh key points that are checked allow embedding Publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. Look at this point now. We want to unselect this. Why? Because if you have many subscribers and you've noticed that when you publish a video, you don't see many views. Even when you have like 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 1,500 and so on. You don't still see many views on your videos. When you upload, maybe you see only 10, only 5, 20. That means many of your subscribers are not watching your video. So there's no point publishing to them and notifying them. Let YouTube advertise your video and make it known to people everywhere. So for that reason, you will unselect this particular uh, box. You will unselect it like this. But allow embedding, you might leave that one on. Now going for the tags, coming back to tags, we have uh, 500 characters to write tags. So to get tags, you might wonder, how will I get tags for my video? Uh, what you do is to go and uh, ask AI or use uh, services such as uh, rapidtags.io, rapidtags.io. Then you take the title of your video there and then they generate tags for you. Uh, for example, I want to use rapid tags here. Uh, Let's see, rapidtags.io generator. Then you copy the, the title of your video, the title of your video, and you post it there for them to generate, generate tags for you. That is if you don't actually know the tags to be used. So we can also use uh, AI to provide tags for you. All right. Then you send, you click on search, then the, the tags are generated. Then you come down, scroll down and copy the tags. When you copy the tags, then you take it back to your channel under the details. See under the details, we have tags done under it. So you paste your tags. All 
All right, so we have the tags now. We have the tags for your video. Now you go to next. Next is a monetization. If your video, your channel is not yet monetized, then here you don't have any issue. But if your video is monetized, you click on, then you save, you go to the next, add usability. So you scroll down and check uh, under add suitability, go, go to next, add suitability. They want to ask you a question. Is your video suitable for cars in appropriate language? Adult content, violence, shopping content, harmful uh, uh, acts and unreliable claims, recreational drugs content, enabling and dishonesty behavior, case and derogatory content, firearms related content, sensitive events, and diversion issues. These are things that they don't want really on their videos and on videos on their channel. YouTube don't want all this, so you keep, click none. When you select none, then here it will enable this button, submit rating. If you don't submit rating, you have not completed this uh, section. So you submit the rating, then you go to the next, which is video elements. So under video elements, what do you do? Uh, video Under video elements, what do you do? You need to add at least two parts. There are three parts to be added, but mostly two parts will help your video to see, uh, uh, to, to get views, to get many views. And the first one is end screen second one is cards so the most important one is end screen so you click on cards then it will open your channel it will select some videos for you asking you to add them for example you can use these formats or these formats for instance let's use these formats it's going to use a video and your channel logo at the other hand, if somebody clicks on your channel logo, then your channel will be open. And if they click on this, it will open uh, uh, it will open your one of your videos, the video that you actually had. So if you want to have something here, you can have playlists, you can add videos. So you click on elements, you click on elements, you can add a, a playlist or you can add your channel or a link. So you can add any of this. So let's use playlist here. Any playlist that is related to your video that you think after watching that video, someone might in be interested in watching videos out of that playlist. For example, uh, on this channel, I have uh, Making Tomatoes as a playlist. Uh, I have uh, Vegetable Gardening as a playlist. I have other parts uh, on the channel. Now, if you if you don't see the, the playlist you are looking for, or the video you are looking for, here you will search for it and YouTube will bring it out. For example, if I'm searching for Pepe, Pepe on this channel, I can type Pepe and the videos related to Pepe or the playlist related to Pepe, they will not come out. So I don't have anything like Pepe, but I have tomato. Let's use tomato. Okay, okay. You can actually use other people's videos too. Well, since it's your own that you want to use, you can just click anyone related to the video out of the child, uh, out of the playlist you have created or out of the videos you have created. Let me use vegetable gardening, this uh, element. So I've added it up here. Uh, so, so this is the other element I added. Okay, and video here, uh, uh, YouTube is suggesting that you should place video there and then most likely they will place video there for you. Now, that is how to add end screen. Then you click save. You click save. After that, you can add cards. Card, you can we also display the top of your uh, video uh, when it's going, when it's uh, being played and it has got to some level. So let's add a uh, card. You can use video, playlist, channel, or link to do your uh, card. Let's use the, the, for this particular video, let's use um, a video to do the card. Let's search for a video. All right, so these are various videos on the channel. Uh, let me use uh, uh, the pumpkin uh, video. Since this is the video here is about okra, so let's use a uh, ugu, which is a fruited pumpkin. How to plant ugu fruited pumpkin? 
So I click on that and it's, it's you can see it's out here. This is how it's going to display on your channel. As the video is being played, then this particular uh, card will jump up and stay on the channel like this. If somebody clicks on that, it takes them to that video on your channel. All right, so you click on save. These two parts that we have added, they are very, very important. It helps uh, other videos in the channel to be seen and to be displayed to people, which uh, uh, makes these videos to be watched many times. Because the people watching the, video, the present video can also be interested in those videos that you added. You must select videos that are related to the one being played in order for it to work out well for your channel. All right, then we go to visibility. Visibility, uh, okay, for checks, you don't have anything to do on that checks. YouTube will do the check for themselves, by themselves, and then they, they will let you know whether it's copyright free or not. So here you can see after they perform the checks, because the video has been uploaded, they say no issues found. And here also, checks complete, no issues found. That's it. But uh, because uh, I've taken too long in explanation here, we should have finished these processes before the video finish uploading. And so here, you will not see any uh, results yet until uh, later. Now, we go on to the next, which is visibility. So I advise to put your video as unlisted. Do not let it go uh, private. Uh, if it is private, or uh, algorithm might not uh, actually uh, access it. So let it go unlisted. It is available, but not yet made public. So by that, algorithm will work and check everything you have provided on the video and the video itself and obtain information needed. And then by that, algorithm will be able to determine who should receive this video, who should they sh should uh, determine who to display the video to so that it can match interest of people. So algorithm takes care of that. So I will advise that you don't make your video public immediately. Allow time to pass, like three hours, for example. Or if you are not uh, in hurry, leave 24 hours for the video to be accessed by the algorithm, by the YouTube algorithm. And then information about it will be complete in the algorithm and they know where to send the video out to to meet the interest of people. And again, don't forget, we have not provided a standard uh, thumbnail for the video. It's only the uh, uh, default thumbnail that the YouTube uh, platform has provided. You might not want it to go out like that. So you take time after saving the video, develop your thumbnail and go back to your video, edit and add the thumbnail. After which you let it stay for some time. Let the algorithm accept and accept every information of it. Don't forget, algorithm is also looking for the information on the thumbnail to present your video to people. It's also important. So when you add the thumbnail, don't immediately release the video. If you do so, the uh, thumbnail will not be part of the information being released by the algorithm at that particular point. So allow time to pass by like three hours or more for the algorithm to access any, every information needed uh, on the video. So that is how it is. Or if you want to schedule it, you might schedule the video to go live, to go public after some time. So you can click here and choose the time and date you want the video to go live. Now, apart from that, you can now uh, you can now save the video, save it, and let it go uh, onto the uh, YouTube platform. All right, so these are the various things you need to do to ensure that your video goes uh, viral, that people, lots of people see your video. Now, the last thing that you need to do is this. After making your video public, when everything is set, now it will be the time to make your video public. For instance, let's go and check this uh, video now. Let's go to the contents channel, and here is the video. First one here. Now it is still unlisted. Now, assuming the thumbnail is ready, then we come here and click on this uh, pencil that is a uh, edit. So we click on it. 
then we edit the video you can change some things on the title description and then on the uh, thumbnail you go down and go to the thumbnail before then you can create uh, uh, one or two thumbnails and upload the files onto youtube here then you do tests and compare when you upload the files one by one then you do tests and compare then you youtube uh, ai information we also look at those thumbnails and tell you the one that will convert people more to see the video to watch the video that will attract people to click on the video and watch so you can use for example you can use the auto-generated thumbnail that is here you can upload your own making two or upload two of your own you must have a you know change one or two things to make the two different from each other then you go to test and compare to compare those thumbnails so you now realize that making your video go go public immediately is unadvisable it's not a good practice because all these things that we are talking about take time on youtube so you do test and compare after which you now select the best thumbnail for your video all that take time and, and so your video should not land on the public uh, space on youtube immediately you upload it it is not a good practice it's not helping the video now after you now make every uh, you have done everything right and then you are actually making the video going public immediately you, it goes public you still have work to do on your video in order to ensure that your video uh, goes uh, viral with people the first thing is you can use one of your other accounts on one of your uh, devices to go and watch that your video in fact you can watch it from your uh, uh, uh channel from your studio here you can click watch but by the time you click watch on your channel then it takes you from studio to youtube then you watch it there you'll be able to like your video and also to make comments and the comments you are going to make you will now pin the comments onto the channel and make sure that co the comments is actually inviting people inviting people calling them to make comments into that video now by the time people start making comments you made first comments you like people start started making comments and they like the video it will help algorithm to realize something about the video that the video is actually resonating with people and people are actually interacting on the video for that algorithm we uh, push the video more to people on youtube so that more people can watch the video in other words interaction people's interaction by comments helps your video to go viral it makes it to be sent out by algorithm more to people and for that you can have plenty of views on your video so you can see there are so many important things to be done even after you have uploaded your video now after you have done this in the in the first 30 minutes of the video you can do this you can watch it you can make comments you can invite people in the comment that people should comment where they are watching from uh you can ask a question about the video that they will see answer to on the video and then they will make comments by that then the video will be pushed out more to be seen now after about 30 minutes or one hour you can then copy the link of your video and share among your people maybe you are on many groups of social media whatsapp telegram and so on you can share the link to the video to them to watch but don't begin to share the, the link to them immediately you uploaded the video if you do that algorithm will see people coming from those uh, uh, platforms to see your video the algorithm will now pause on its work they will assume that you can actually do the advertising of your video yourself since people have already been coming clicking the link because the algorithm will see that it is your link that has been click, clicked to watch the video so you allow the algorithm to do its work first maybe after one three hours or even 24 hours before you start sending out the link to the video allow the algorithm to perform its own job on the video which is which will actually take place in about 24 hours so by doing all this you can attract more views to your video on youtube so these are various things that you can do to make your video to go viral on youtube don't forget to like and share this video and then if you are a subscriber to this channel thank you very much for coming if you are not please subscribe to this channel 
and click the notification bell so that you get notified by the time I bring more interesting videos like this. Until another time, I say bye bye to you. Bye.